the microbrewer industry in Minnesota and the Midwest in general has just had a huge resurgence. So everyone's looking for hops uh, where they can source locally and sustainably. There are a lot of unanswered questions with hops uh, in Minnesota, especially, you know, hops into the non West Coast or non-Europe regions. This project in particular, it was a result of my impression that we really don't have any good nitrogen recommendations for how to grow hops in Minnesota. So we're looking at the effect of nitrogen on disease symptoms, cone flavor and alpha acid content, yield, and overall quality of the hop cones. The reason we're interested specifically in these experiments, uh, doing on-site grower trials with fertility applications and timing, is much of the research surrounding hops has been conducted areas where people might traditionally think of, and so that's the Pacific Northwest, like Oregon, Idaho, and Washington. So by working here, we're giving growers exact region-specific data. Well, I think the benefit of doing on-site trials is that we're in a real-world condition. This is not something that we set up in a isolated spot at, on research lands, and it's not in a greenhouse. This is real life. Their research on hops production in our state um, at this kind of smaller scale that we are here um, is really valuable as we all try to grow. Really, I think it's a community. And so by reaching out to growers to do on-site trials, we really kind of become part of that community. I think that they're doing a pretty good job selecting research topics right now finding questions that, that the research doesn't speak to yet and I am really hopeful that we can continue to work with them. We really support this work. We think that the hops industry here has a lot of room to grow and a critical support for that industry getting to where we need to be is university research and so we're happy to help out how we can.